Hey guys, Sal here with AES. Today I want to walk you through um, how to upgrade the firmware on a Prime 6, Prime 7 um, due to the, the, to the switches from 3G to 4G. So we have a Prime 7 here. This one has the yellow or gold board or orange. Um, these are the new boards. This is what you're going to see in the field at this, at this time now. If you happen to come across the old blackboards with the modems, this will definitely work. Um, same, the only thing that we would have to do is we would have to swap out the, the black modem and install the new Quectel modem onto the board and then upgrade the same manner that we would upgrade the system. In order for us to upgrade the system, we need a laptop, um, we need a USB B cable, which is the same cable that is used for printers, and this is just a standard cable. And what we want to do is we want to connect to our PCB board first. This only goes in one way. Okay. And then the other end goes to the PC. Okay, so now that we're all connected, we're going to go to the laptop and we're going to click on the firmware burner and we're going to start to upgrade the system. Okay, so now we're into the uh, firmware burner software and we're gonna click on yes. And it's gonna open up this little window. Um, here it's looking for a four digit code. Um, your standard four digit password is 049, so it's 9999. We're gonna click on the connect icon here and we're gonna connect to the board. And once we connect, it'll tell us what version of firmware is installed on the board right now. So we have 210, and what we wanna do is we wanna up Upgrade that to 2.2.4. So we're going to go to this icon here, which is the flash button. We're going to click on it. It's going to bring us into our bin file and we want to download 2.2.4. So we're just going to double click. And once I double click, it'll automatically start uploading the firmware to the board. Um, once we get to 100, we're going to wait until the board reboots. Um, and then we'll just test to make sure that the firmware was taken. And then the last step is to add the APM. Okay, so now we're at 90%. And once it reaches 100, it's going to let us know that uh, it's been upgraded. And we just give it a few seconds to reboot um, on the board itself. Okay, we're just going to wait, make sure we don't shut this down right now. Only the red light is on on the board, so just give it a few minutes. And once it reboots, we can close out of here. And then go back into the firmware burner just to be on the safe side. And we're gonna do the same step. So the four digit passcode is 9999. We're going to connect. And it's telling us that it's 2.2.4. So it took the upgrade. The last step is the APN. Now the APN for our SIM cards is reseller. And that's all in caps, so it's E-R-S-E-L-L-E-R. -L -L -E and once we have that typed in here, in this bar, we're just gonna click on this icon here to upload and it instantly uploads the APN. If you don't have the APN, the SIM card will not boot up um, and it's not gonna work. So make sure that you check, you check your APN. Okay, we're at the last step of um, the firmware update. Um, now that we've updated the, uh, the PCB board, we wanna update the firmware on the modem itself. So uh, with 2.2.4, it gives us the option to update 
the firmware on modems via a text message. So I'm in my text messages and I'm going to text the string to the phone number of the system. And I'm going to wait until the system responds and it'll tell me that the firmware will take a few minutes to upload. It takes about five to seven minutes depending on the area. Please do not disconnect, just have a little bit of patience. And once, um, once it's updated, you will get a response back saying that the upgrade to the firmware was successful. Now the system will restart. Once again, do not disconnect, wait until the system restarts. Once the system restarts and that green light is flashing again, what I normally do is I do a star 20 pound, um, just to double check. And once I do a star 20 pound, you should get this response back, letting you know that the board is updated and uh, it's, it's good to go and we're at 100%. Um, hopefully this video will help you. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at uh, Tech Support and we'll walk you through it.